folks at Lubbock Animal Services are making some much needed repairs to their building, but to do that properly and quickly, they really need to clear out as many of the animals there as they can. Okay, next story, Larna joins us now from the shelter. Tori, did they get enough adoptions to clear up the space they need? Lubbock Animal Services said they're not quite there yet. They adopted hundreds of dogs and cats or returned them to their owners, but they're also dealing with some very unique animals that they have to find homes for. Her name is Mrs. Puff. She was an owner surrender, and so I just decided to take her home with me that day. Snakes, goats, a hedgehog. Shannon Torres with Lubbock Animal Services says they've taken more than just the typical cat and dog. We had a goat that actually came from a fraternity at Tech. Um, goats are not allowed in the city limits. They were unaware. She says it's usually because people can't take care of them anymore or don't know what's allowed. People don't understand that a lot of the animals that they think are just so cute and fun aren't allowed in the city. But dogs are just as cute. They're allowed and they need the most help right now. <laughs> Kaylee Smith, the assistant director, says their renovations would only take two weeks if they had 100 to 150 dogs adopted out. But that's not the case. For about three months, we've been needing to try to get this cleared out so that we could start getting those floors redone. She says just as many dogs are still coming in as they are adopted. They need the community's help just as much as these dogs need a forever home. It's frustrating in the fact that um, they haven't been adopted. It's also frustrating in the fact that um, we try to keep up. Now, unfortunately, they said there's no more pretty cute uh, hedgehogs to adopt, but they said all the dogs in their back pen are up for free adoption so that they can get them cleared out. Reporting from Lubbock Animal Services, I'm Tori Larned, KMAC News.